Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to discuss interview questions and answers related to Flow Builder. So Flow is a powerful tool in Salesforce, which is uh, like growing each releases by releases. So hope these questions and answers will help you to prepare your interview related to Flow Builder. So first question is related to what is process automation. So process automation provides declarative tools to do automation in Salesforce. So we have four options like workflow rule, process builder, flows and approval process. So if you know like uh, soon workflow rules and process builder will be deprecated. So uh, we only have uh, flows to do automations and approval process is specific to uh, send records for approval. So flow will be the future for process automation now. So we need to know what is flow builder. So it provides declarative process automation. Lightning flow provides this point and click automation tool that is flow builder. Lightning flow is the name of the product. Process builder and flow builder are the name of the tools. Use process builder to create processes and use flow builder to create flows. So we need to know the type of flows. So this is important to know. So we have screen flow. We have record triggered flow, schedule triggered flow, platform event triggered flow, auto launch flow. So five types of flows are available that you can create in Salesforce. Now, what are the flow elements? Those are available. So if you are using screen flow, then only screens will be available. Otherwise, uh, rest of the options will be available with most of the flows. So we have action, subflow, assignment, decision loop, collection sort, collection filter, create record, get record, update record, delete record, and rollback records options. And if you want to know like how these uh, resources works in Salesforce flow, so what you can do, uh, you can just visit studysalesforce.com and there I provided uh, all the videos related to flows and uh, I have created some uh, scenario based videos as well. So now next is flow resources. So we can create these type of resources which are listed over here. So we can create variable, constant, formula, text template, choice, collection choice set, record choice set, pick list choice set and stage. Now let's talk about what is screen flow. So screen flow basically guides user through a business process. It can be launched through lightning page, lightning, sorry, experience cloud site, quick action and more. So basically in screen flow, what happens, you will be having guided path where different, different screens will be available uh, on the UI and uh, those screens will be interacting with the users to receive some input. Then we have record triggered flow. So it launches when a record is created, updated or deleted. This auto launch flow runs in the background. So whenever uh, you create any new record, you update any existing record or you delete any existing record. So this record trigger flow runs automatically. Then we have schedule triggered flow. So it launches at a specified time and frequency for each record in a batch. This auto launch flow also runs in the background. So you can just specify a particular date and time whenever you want to run it. So it is also a powerful uh, feature of lightning flow. Then platform event triggered flow. So it launches when a platform event message is received. This auto launched flow also runs in the background. Then auto launch flow. So it is invoked by Apex processes, REST API and more. This auto launch flow also runs in the background. So I created uh, videos, uh, scenarios uh, for almost all type of flows. So you can uh, find those scenarios on uh, study salesforce.com. So what to debug? A flow. So if you want to debug a flow, so it helps to test the flow execution before activating it. It shows step-by-step -step results and shows errors if there are any. What is one version control? So each time you update something in flow, a new version is created. After creating new version, we need to activate the flow to run.
then uh, next is can we use lightning component in uh, screen flow so answer will be yes you can can we call apex class through flow answer will be yes we can call so there is one option which is known as action so if you use action element so you can call apex classes as well but you need to remember like when you create apex class and uh, you implement a method so you need to use annotation at the rate invocable method so here's the next question related to that so which annotation we use with apex class method when we call apex class through flow so it, it is like at the rate invocable method how to call a flow into another flow so you can use subflow element for that so screen flow can call another screen flow as subflow record trigger flow can call another auto launch flow as subflow some important actions that can be done through flow. So you can perform post to chatter. You can use send email or email alert actions. You can send notifications. You can call subflow. You can call Apex class. You can call approval process. So these are some important actions you can perform. Now, what is the difference between dollar record versus dollar record underscore underscore prior? So basically both are global variables available in flow. Dollar record is available while record is created, updated, or deleted. Dollar record underscore underscore prior is available only when record is updated. So it will, uh, dollar record will be containing the new state of the record. It will be containing all the uh, field values. And dollar record underscore underscore prior will be containing the old version. So when we update the record, so we have two state. One is new and one is old. So new will be available under a dollar record global variable and old state will be available under dollar record underscore underscore prior. Dollar record provides the value of the record through which flow is triggered. Dollar record underscore underscore prior provides old value of the record through which flow is triggered. What happens when flow fails? So it gives an error message on the UI, also throws an email to the user who last modified it. Difference between fast field update versus actions and related records. So if you use fast field update, so uh, update fields on record that triggered the flow to run. In this case, flow runs before the record is saved to the database. In case of actions and related records, it updates any record and perform actions like send an email. In this case, flow runs after the record is saved to the database. So if you want to do something uh, like related to actions or you want to do some operation on the related record uh, of the record through which record is triggered. So in that case, you can pick actions and related records. And these options are uh, like available with uh, record triggered flow. Can records be inserted with users through flow? Sorry, can records be shared with users through flow? Yes, for example, if you want to share account records so that, sorry, for example, if you want to share account records, so in flow, you can create a record of account share object, right? So if you search for this object, so with the help of this, you can share. You just need to fill the required fields which are available under this object and your record will be shared. Can we set the order of execution of record triggered flows? Yes, uh, so a new feature is available, which is known as Flow Trigger Explorer. So with the help of this, you can set the order of execution. What are two paths we have in Record Trigger Flow? So we have Run Immediately and Run Asynchronously. From where we can validate whether Flow is scheduled or not. So you can uh, go to Setup and in Quick Find, you can search for Schedule Job and there you can find whether your flow is scheduled or not. Can we debug a flow as another user? Yes, we need to enable this setting from process automation setting. So this process automation setting you can find in quick find uh, under the setup. So uh, you, if you enable that setting, so in that uh, after that, you can just run your flow as another user as well. What frequency we can set in scheduled triggered flow? So as of now, we have once, daily, and weekly. So any option you can select, which are available. 
Now the difference between record single variable versus record collection variable. So if you create record single variable, so it can store information in form of a single record about specific object and collection variable can store information in form of multiple records about specified object. Can we pause and resume a screen flow? Yes, you can pause through button present on screen. You can resume through uh, so you need to open setup, then in quick find, you need to type paused and failed flow interviews. So there you can find the paused interviews and through there you can resume that as well. Does flow support versioning? Yes. When we update something in flow, it always create a new version. We can anytime activate or deactivate any version as per requirement. So it means like you, if you want to deactivate the latest version and if you want to activate the older version, so that is also possible. We can also delete existing versions if they are not in use anymore. Can we deactivate flow anytime? Yes, we can deactivate flows anytime if we don't want it to run. Later, we can activate as well any version that we want to run. So. These are some flow, lightning flow related interview questions and answers. So I hope these will help you uh, while you are appearing for Salesforce interview. And uh, if you want to learn more about Salesforce lightning flow, so what you can do, you can just visit studysalesforce.com and there you will find a lot of resources. Thank you.